Welcome to DeFi Render 2.7. In this update, we are thrilled to introduce an impressive lineup of 35 new features and enhancements. Among these are upgraded D5 GI, D5 Scatter, Text to 3D, EI Ultra HD Texture, AI Make Seamless Light Orientation Control, Optimized Grass, New Camera Movement Templates, and Higher Quality Virtual Reality. But that's not all. The D5 Asset Library now boasts a staggering 309 new items, including a series of stylized low-poly assets, walking characters, and a stunning range of grouped characters. Now let's dive in. Introducing the upgraded D5 GI. The improvements made to D5's global illumination solution in version 2.7 takes us even closer to achieving the quality of offline rendering, delivering stunning results in four key areas. Firstly, indirect lighting, where light bounces multiple times before reaching the surface of complex colored objects, is more accurate. In the past, the diffuse reflection effect was achieved by averaging the colors of the texture and then bouncing the light. But with D5 2.7, a more color accurate diffuse effect will be calculated and produced Secondly, the shadows in the environment got more accurate and three-dimensional. The noise and black spots are nearly eliminated in real-time preview, which now provides more accurate and timely feedback. Thirdly, 2.7 has made a leap in the rendering effect of reflections, both in real-time preview and rendered output, which is now very close to offline rendering. Finally, the upgraded D5 GI has further ensured the consistency of screen preview, image rendering, and video output. In addition to improvements in rendering quality, animation rendering has been significantly accelerated with a remarkable speed increase of up to more than 100%. The grass material has also been optimized and three new grasses have been added. The new grasses have been enhanced to offer a more realistic visual with their varied heights and more lifelike appearance. Another point worth mentioning is the optimized effect of grass filling edges. You no longer have to worry about the grass exceeding the edges or the edges not being filled properly. Another advancement is in transparent channel. You can now find colored transparent channel maps instead of black and white ones for easier selection and post-production. Additionally, there's a new option affect transparent ID for multimedia materials. Ticket and the exported transparent channel will include the multimedia translucent material. Conversely, you can untick to exclude the multimedia materials from transparent channel export. Virtual reality in D5 is upgraded with more advanced rendering algorithms, delivering higher quality through more realistic lighting and eliminated noises. The lights in D5 2.7 are all about ease and efficiency. On one hand, placed lights support switching types, including switching in batches to avoid deletion and replacement. On the other hand, optimized orientation control allows lights with directional attributes to have a target point control. Click and drag the target point to the corresponding position to determine the direction of the light. Of course, light orientation control in batches is also supported. Three new camera movement templates are added to the video editor. Spiral pan, twist flyover, and backflip. We can adjust the parameters of templates. Taking the spiral pan as an example, you can adjust the parameters after applying the template, such as radius, full rotation, circle center height, and lock on target, etc. More ready to use templates waiting for you to explore. The navigation control while moving around the camera in the viewport is made more responsive and precise, allowing for a more intuitive design experience. 
As one of the pioneers to explore AI integrations in the ASC industry, we're committed to facilitating the creative journey for designers and 3D artists. With the release of 2.7, we're excited to present three major AI features that push the boundaries of innovation even further. Introducing the feature to bring texts to 3D models right inside D5. Click on the newly added button next to the Asset Library icon to access the text to 3D panel. Here, enter a prompt to describe the object you wish to generate and even specify elements to exclude using a negative prompt. Choose from the four given styles and click Generate to create your text-based models. Use Refine when you want to fine-tune a generated model. Once satisfied, select the final model and place it into the scene, just like any other D5 model. Another AI-powered feature is here to save the day if you're dealing with low-resolution textures that seem too blurry. Simply check the Ultra HD Texture button near the base color map to restore details of the imported material and improve the overall clarity. We're not done with material adjustment yet. You can avoid noticeable seams in textures without the need to switch between different software tools. Simply click on the new Make Seamless button Choose either horizontal, vertical, or both directions, and click again. There you go, seamless perfection in a few clicks. You may recall the introduction of AI-generated material texture maps in version 2.6. Now, with the addition of the features we just covered, we offer you an upgraded AI-powered texture processing experience. Stay tuned for more as we are continuously making progress in simplifying the previously tedious and time-consuming workflow. D5 2.7 comes with a groundbreaking tool, D5 Scatter, which can easily create realistic landscapes whether they are naturally grown or meticulously designed. Let's start with some examples to take a sneak peek at the effects of D5 Scatter. For natural landscapes, simply click the Scatter button located on the top toolbar to convert a model or material into a scatter area. Then, choose your desired plants from D5 Asset Library and adjust their density, proportion, scale, and orientation to achieve various effects. You can repeat this process to effortlessly generate lush lawns and dense forests. Playing around with D5 Scatter, you'll be able to effortlessly create and manage a natural landscaping scene, regardless of its scale. For designed landscapes, choose the material or model first to initiate D5 Scatter. Next, divide the surface into multiple sub-areas using the Image Divide feature. Each sub-area supports scattering different models and enables independent customization. That was just a teaser of D5 Scatter. To streamline landscape design, D5 2.7 has also introduced a scatter library, which includes a variety of ready-to-use presets Navigate to the Scatter Library, where you'll find a variety of scatter presets, some labeled as Global and others as Content. Please follow the instructions provided above to learn how to use them. Global presets not only carry the layout details of the sub-areas, but also the scattering elements, which are readily available from D5 Asset Library. With a simple click, these presets can be applied to a surface to create effects from natural grasslands to striped and checkerboard patterns for lawns.
Of course, there's a lot more D5 Scatter can do, like adapting to tree ring edgings or flower beds in different shapes. More possibilities for you to explore. Content presets are exclusive to scattered content and omit area division details, implying that they are a subset of the more comprehensive global presets. So, to apply such presets, you should first create a new scatter. After that, you can apply content presets by clicking the preset icon in the scatter content column. All these curated scatter presets work like magic, and you should definitely give them a try. The Scatter Library will be regularly updated to offer a broader range of presets, akin to D5 Studio. We eagerly anticipate your feedback and creations. More Scatter features are coming, with D5 2.7 being just the start. A detailed D5 Scatter tutorial will be released soon. Stay tuned! Another exciting news is that D5 2.7 now supports Spanish language you can activate it in Preference, Language, Interface. We have plans to add even more languages, so stay tuned for further updates. Following the support for adding scenes to render queue in batch when rendering images in version 2.6, we've made it possible in video rendering as well. You can now swiftly access the completed tasks using the rendered filter and see tasks in the order of their submission time. 2.7 also supports bulk selection of render tasks to delete them or edit their resolutions and output formats in batch. The capability of defining uniform prefix for file names in the left corner will simplify the naming process for easier file management. You can check the details of all the completed tasks in the history section. New video tutorials are available on D5's welcome page. Click on the thumbnail to watch the video tutorial. More tutorials to be updated there. Of course, we didn't forget to give the asset library a little makeover for an enhanced user experience. 1. The third level classification is available in both the D5 online and local library. 2. In the local library, drag and drop functionality is supported, allowing you to effortlessly modify the order of categories and even hierarchy by simply dragging and moving them. Just like this, you can drag a first-level category into another first-level category to convert it into a second-level category. Conversely, you can directly elevate a second-level or third-level category to the first level by dragging it there. 3. To facilitate efficient organization, the movement of assets now supports batch drag and drop with multi-selection. 4. Finally, the local library also supports the search feature, making it easier to find any asset. When it comes to searching, enter in the search bar, and D5 now automatically recommends tags related to it, which lead you to assets related to the tag with a click. To make things even easier, with your input, D5 analyzes the search query and identifies the most likely category associated with the input, displaying the identified category as a clickable text results, allowing you to directly jump to that particular category. All right, that wraps up our 2.7 overview. Open it now to explore the updates yourself, and for the complete release note, please follow the link in the description. If you're seeking in-depth tutorials on specific features, we welcome your comments below. Thanks for tuning in, and we'll see you in the next version.